Hey guys, Elegant Mess here. Today we're going to do a tutorial for a laptop keyboard replacement for the uh, Dell Inspiron uh, 1525, model number PP29L. Uh, so we're going to go through uh, how to open up the laptop, um, what screws to remove, uh, how to get the keyboard out, uh, replace the keyboard, and then put everything back together. And uh, for, the last, for this laptop, it's a pretty uh, simple procedure. But uh, if any of you guys need to know how to do it, this will, uh, this will cover it for you. So uh, we'll get right into it. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Okay, so here we have our uh, Dell Inspiron 1525. Uh, our replacement keyboard. Go ahead and get it opened up. I'll do my best to keep my uh, hand out of the way so you guys can see where we're going with this. New keyboard, ribbon on the back, pretty standard. Set this to the side. So to access the keyboard on the Dell Inspiron, just go ahead, first thing, remove the battery. And anytime I work on a laptop, after removing the battery, I like to go ahead, just hold down the power button for a couple of seconds, anything that any uh, power that's left in it will discharge it. Don't mind the uh, purple tabs, they had some uh, passwords up here, so I just covered them up. Uh, so once, go ahead and discharge any of the extra power in there. First thing I'll do, these two screws, uh, minus the one in the very corner, the next two up are uh, for the hard drive. So I'll go ahead and remove those. Um, always like to just go ahead and remove the hard drive, especially if it's this easy. It should come out fairly easy. Just give it a nice pull. We'll just go and set this to the side. And once the hard drive is removed, the only two screws that are needed to access the keyboard on this Let me zoom in here for you. are going to be the two underneath the battery pack here and here. So we'll go ahead and get those removed. So once the two screws are removed from underneath the battery pack, we can go ahead, flip it over, and open the laptop all the way up with the uh, monitor as far open as it'll go without pushing on it too hard. And then on the right hand side of the laptop you'll see there's a little lip right inside the bezel. We'll go ahead and just carefully lift it up. You'll hear it snap out. There's just little plastic clips. And then on either side of the hinge for the monitor, the bezel will separate, but there's also clips there. Let's just get each one of those up. And then, again, these are plastic clips, so just be gentle as you go along. And then, with these, with the bezel and the keyboard, uh, there are ribbons underneath it connecting to the motherboard, so don't just pull it right out. As you can see, there's the ribbon for the front bezel. We'll go ahead and just set this up. And then there's going to be two screws on the top of the keyboard that hold this in place. One on the right and one on the left here. So we'll go ahead and get those two removed. So 
So once the two screws are removed from the uh, keyboard, we can uh, just go ahead and you can get your uh, fingernail under the front lip of the keyboard here. Just go ahead and push forward with it, and it'll come right out of its uh, seating in the front here. Just gently lift up on the front of the keyboard, and it'll come right out. And just like with the front bezel, it's attached with a ribbon, so just pull it forward. And there's a little black clip underneath to release the ribbon. And this one is not in place. These black clips, um, they are replaceable, um, but do be gentle with them because these break real easy and they're actually stupid expensive. I've seen them for 20, 50 bucks sometimes online for just a little black plastic clip. Uh, normally, when it's seated in properly, you can just, there's a little uh, notch out on it and you can just kind of fold it forward instead of taking it all the way out as to not lose it or break it. And just by lifting it up, it'll release the, uh, the ribbon for the keyboard. So go ahead, old keyboard, new keyboard. You guys can get a good look at this. So here's our old one. Here's our new one. So we can just go ahead and swap these out. And uh, try and make sure that you fold the ribbon on the back side the same as the original one was. And this one has the model number written right on it. The, uh, the replacement one does not, but I know it's the, uh, the right one. So we'll go ahead and set the keyboard down, slide the ribbon in place here. Well, this black clip isn't wanting to stay in place, so I'll just go ahead and place the ribbon and reinsert the black connector clip here. With it firmly in place, we can go ahead and just slip the bottom of the keyboard back in its housing. And then just make sure the two screw holes are lined up. Reinsert the two screws for the keyboard. Gently set the bezel back in place. Start on the left side here, getting it seated in. You can usually give it a just a nice firm press. And you'll hear it click back in place. Okay, so the new keyboard is in. Simple as that. So go ahead, flip it back over. Two screws for underneath the battery pack. Go back in. Get our hard drive, slide that back into place. Reinsert both of these screws. Slide the battery pack back in. And you're done, that's it. With the, uh, with the Dell Inspiron, uh, this is uh, one of the easiest keyboard replacements I've ever had to do, which is very nice. So, uh, yeah. That's the keyboard replacement.
Okay, so that wraps it up for the uh, for the Dell laptop keyboard replacement. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, just you know leave them in the uh, comment section below. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, uh, like the video if you like it, dislike it if you disliked it. You know, if you, so let me know why. Um, again, you know, if you guys have any questions regarding this, just let me know, and I'll uh, get back to you as soon as I can. I usually try to keep up on the uh, comments and questions as, as well as I can. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, and let me know what you think. Oh, Jokey, if you're watching this. You see what that says? That says mine. Mine? 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 Yeah, that's a present from my awesome girlfriend. That's my badass coffee mug. It's mine.